All right, let's do a couple of fun things with CMI. I'm going to use the Emerald block because it's pretty distinctive and players don't usually build with it. And on my server, the wooden shuffle is my CMI selection thing. And I'm going to just click it once and then right click for the second point. So now I have this block selected and not that block. So um, what would probably work, but that's worth testing, I'll do that in this video, is if we can now set a new portal for this. So if we do portals, we can click on uh, test launcher one, and we don't need any particles, to be honest. Although it would be nice, um, you know what, let's Let's do something weird here. Yeah, that will work. <laughs> All right, let's uh, ask portals again. There it is. So now we can also do more fun things with it. So now we have this one. And if we walk onto it, it will not really work. We don't get the default effect. So I'm just gonna put a block here for a second and then select it. And I uh, can right click, of course. Now we actually have this area and we can manipulate it. I'm just doing this on purpose so you can actually see how to do this sort of stuff. And you can go over this, redefine area. Yay, that's perfectly fine. All right. Perform commands without valid teleport and then edit portal commands. All right. So the default one is an effect. We want to get rid of this one, but I'll add my own. So, CMI, Lounge, Mr. Flores, um, somewhere, I don't know, <laughs> 50, I don't know what it does. Let's, let's test it out. Nope, nothing. Um, CMI, Lounge, yeah, that works. Let's find out on the website how this actually works. There we go. This is a great way to figure out how that actually should happen. Okay, so see my lounge player uh, with a power angle direction location. So um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Launch it to a location. Oh boy, that's that's crazy. So power and angle we can we can do that. Let's just copy this and see if we can do something with that. All right, let's manipulate this and actually make this a little smarter. Player name, and let's do that. Now we actually have that command. That's a lot of hearts though, I thought I changed that. Um, see my portals, let's, uh, oh wait, I see a problem, it's like this, okay. Oh, yeah, that works. So now we ha actually have a launch pad that can get us all the way there. Uh, let's do another example. So let's place that block there and select this one and then the right one. So now we have just this little spot and see my portals, um, test launcher two. And uh, large smoke, but we don't need that much smoke. Edit commands. We're gonna keep blindness for the for the the effects, and gonna do that command again. All right. So now, when the player is walking here, they'll see that this is a launch pad, and they'll be like. Pshh. They come to a different one, whoa, where will they land, right? So you can just add whatever command you want here. So see my sound entity. Um, let's see. Sting, I don't know. And then player name. All right, so wait, go, 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 go all the way to here. Let's add that to the pile. Nothing. Let's actually put the volume up. 
All right, perfect. Oh, that sounds scary, right? That will work. So you can make all sorts of fun launch paths that can do all sorts of things, including moving people to new locations. And the particles are op op uh, optional. Um, anyways, I hope this kind of explains it. Um, to be honest, personally, I kind of wish that in the configuration file we could do something like this. Where, uh, well, I can do it here, I guess. Where is the thingy? We can say um, launch blocks. And then it's... Um, Block is emerald, and then um, power um, is 2.5, angle, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, um, what was the angle here, 25, and um, I don't know, something like this, and then every time you place one of these, that it will be like pew! Pew, right? It would automatically detect that this is what we want to do with that stuff. Alright. Um, see my portals in, in order to remove this. I think we have to click and remove. And then click and remove and they're gone. They're back to normal blocks again. Anyways, I hope this helped anybody. Uh, that wants to learn how to do this stuff, this is how I would do it if you want to create a launch pad or something.